What's going on guys, it's Dodox here and welcome back to the Kislev campaign for Total War Warhammer 3 playing as Serena Catherine of Kislev. Will I do the accent there? Right, so we've got some decisions to make because I've seen this scenario play out many, many times and I can tell you right now that we are in a shit spot, okay? I, I've been blinded by it because I think, oh, I've got enough territory. There's a few op possibly things that could go wrong here and I'm just going to tell you all of them before we start this episode. The first one is the orcs declare war on me. The second one is Wolfric declares war on me. And the third one is the Chaos Dwarfs declare war on me. Or the fourth option is Wintertooth declares war on me. And with basically not being able to kill off my, uh, my opponents, we're in this shit situation now where we can't expand. We can't. If we try and expand, it goes really bad for us. We, we literally are in a situation now where we are having to play defensive. Bind down the hatches and defend like mad, which means there's going to be a lot of battles. And it also means is we have to defend our positions. So it's important that we find a way to defend. Now, there's a problem here, right? Is this particular region here is really bad. It's got nothing going for us. It's literally nothing. It is completely shit the, 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 we don't get any money from it really we don't get any benefits from having this city or anything like that Sylvestra is probably going to get attacked by Wolfric we can't do anything about that he's going to declare war on us we can't do anything about that now this is a problem here because we can't expand on the Skaven because if we do these guys will declare war on us and then we just we are in this, this loop it could be doom campaign but we'll see what we can do because I am, I, but I am really concerned because of our lack of replenishment and movement. And it, it seems the AI might be cheating. I'm not too sure, but I, I don't know. They could be cheating. It really depends. I need to check on some armies to see how they're recovering so fast or something. It could be that they're not cheating, but yeah. Another thing we're going to do right off the bat here is actually... We need to improve our army. Our army right now is not good enough to do anything. It, we are on turn 26. We're still only tier... We have a tier 2 army here. It's not good enough. We are going to need to upgrade our army. And we're just going to have to wait on our Zargard and our Strelsey. And we're going to have to play very defensive. Play very narrow. Because there's no other way of doing this. So right now we're in a pretty shit situation. And I don't know what's going to happen. Wolfric could declare war. I mean, let's just check. We're only at war with one person at the moment. It doesn't seem bad, does it? But being strength rank 125 just says to the AI, I'm an easy target. And they are right. I am just such an easy target right now. With no Wolfric being rank 20, he could come over at any point. You know, he's not at war with anyone interesting what? enough. He could see me as a target, and that's worrying. Then you've got Clan Mulder, who already are the war. They are strength one. They're no longer a threat, by the way. We have cleared Clan Mulder out. The problem is, though, we can't expand on them. Because if we try and do that, Wolfric's going to come over. Is what I keep saying. So we actually have to find a way to stop Wolfric from advancing on us. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the army of Sylvester over to over here. Right? Catra is coming over to Sylvester instead. Now, you might think that's crazy. Why would you abandon Prague? Uh, I'm abandoning Prague because I can put a decent garrison there and try and defend that side. So this episode is going to be a very defensive episode, by the way. It's going to be very defensive. It's going to be very... Because we have to play like this. We can't expand. We have we cannot expand. There's no way of doing it. So we're going to send the turn and play the baton down the hatches. I did this once with Skaven. Granted... I had a much bigger armor stuff by that point. I think it's right. The reason I don't care about Prague is because he's going to plague this city, right? And now that's been plagued. What can we do about it? Not much. Prague's going to fall, probably, maybe. But I, right now, I am trying to find a way to stabilize this campaign, right? Stabilize it, I shall, by at least holding on to two regions because we need to... We're going to have to play this very techy. Now, it looks like Wolfric is not attacking me yet, but we're not taking any chances. Now, it's actually two turns till the Zargard is here. So, what we actually want to do is, is we want to sit in Kislev, but be near Zavesta. 
All right. So we're sitting kids left, but we near Sylvester, so we can literally thingy. And then what we're gonna do with Prague? Looks like it actually failed. Frost's gonna try something, but the uh, the garrison's pretty strong. It probably will be able to hold it, and I probably will not resolve the battle because I've played that battle so many times now that I think you need a break from Prague. So I'll um yeah I'll keep an eye on that anyway. Right, Kislev has actually an option available now for what we can do, and I'm I'm gonna push the growth right. I'm pushing the growth for a reason, right? The growth needs pushing. Actually, when can we? Two turns and we'll actually have more money. But let's push that growth, get to tier four as soon as possible. We need to be able to unlock the high money buildings to actually stabilize our economy right now. So it's all about stabilizing. We're going to take a, chi a bit of a risk here and actually go for the mining option for more money. Now, we're going to just check on our, our enemies here. Bone Rattlers actually have some wars to deal with. So I don't see them attacking as much as... Wolfric would because Wolfric's got no Fear me. no guys so we yeah it's a tricky one and there's a lot of defending gonna happen here and I'm a bit concerned that after this even if we do pull through this some my major empire could come along and just wipe me off the face of the earth so it's very important here that we don't do anything stupid. With, with, with Siege is harder to take, though. It's harder for armies to expand. So hopefully there isn't a big empire waiting around the corner at the moment. we we'll reduce movement. But what's going to be very important, if we do fight Wolfric, which could happen, it looks like he's not declared war on me yet, which is a little interesting. I thought he would. I was predicting that because I saw that he was at war with anyone else so have i made a, an, an error here it's possible they it's possible that i've made an error and maybe attacking wolf it was fine but we at the end of the day catcher needs upgrading and in one those. turn we'll be able you to get zargard and all sorts so it's best to wait i don't think we could expand with the army that we have anymore and what we need to start doing is getting this region up as well like we really need to start building up rather than out because we just need to find a way to get more money right now as well kids have a poor they're really poor and actually why don't we do this knock them right back down because then we can get that diplomatically uh, relations with kislev which will be big for money and maybe an alliance to actually help out with this threat right now frost is weak by the way he lost so many forces and as long as he's not cheating i'm probably expecting him not to be a threat for a while because he's got to rebuild that army. He has got quite a bit of an empire, though. So we'll keep an eye on his strength rank. But I'm pretty sure he won't be a threat for a while. Right, so face off. We've got allow farmers to continue with chaos corruption. Spell resistance and abilities. Ooh. Definitely that one. Oh, a hero. Unlock the golden knight and recruit across for ice guard. Or unlock the golden knight and get diplomatic relations and then oh you know what we could do with really getting that trade up so knight. right we now have a golden knight, golden knight. Try to keep up, who's going to join the army immediately right is it ready are the zargard ready right yeah so let's get some zargard oh we're not quite in kislev very well might be now no oh, there we go right okay so let's get some zargard and let's start make, getting rid of other stuff as well. Like, I feel like the Cossars can go now. They're, they're too weak. I have no patience for weakness. Yeah, even even Catron just said it. Get two of them ones as well, because they're going to be good for mammoths. And we'll slowly change spears into Zargard. I feel like that's what we need to do. Let's get our strength rank up. So we're just taking a step back, chill out, get our armies together. My rule grows absolute. And Prague has actually lived, so it must have a better garrison now. If Prague has lived, which I didn't expect it would have, I guess kids like I guess we go for money. Just go for money. Any form of money right now. Just get it. Money is power. 
Now yeah, we're getting 2,000 a turn now. That's a lot better. That'll fit. So let's start getting rid of some of these spearmen. I question their loyalty to Kislev. And then we can grab ourselves. You know what? I mean, uh, we need some Strelsey, don't we? Yeah, double Strelsey at the end there. So that gives us, you know, to kill mammoths and stuff. Which it looks like Wolfric's not attacking me. I'm. A I was convinced. I was so convinced that he would have attacked me. And right, we'll get some. Get that up. So we get our garrison up. Guess he wasn't feeling it, Wolfric. Well, that's fine. So we just work on getting our our army up. You know what we do need? Where's our nearest way of getting artillery? Is that the only artillery kids love get? The little Grom? Is that it? Yeah, they very are an infantry-based army with a bit of monster, it seems. The Vitsigo could be a good option to go for. It means we have to go up this, this tree here. This wouldn't be too much of a hassle if we can get to tier 4, which is what the plan is, by the way. I'm so close to getting tier 4 at Kislev. Lots of growth buildings have been built, so... Alright, and let's go for... What's this? Oh, we're not, we're not using war sleds. Ah, I'm going for Zargard. There we go. Yeah, I've gone for Zargard. I feel like it's a, a nice little bit of a frontline boost for our troops. While we use our guns and possars and stuff. And actually, we'll fight a little bit more in melee. Obviously, dealing with Skaven is going to be fucking difficult with their annoying cabals and stuff. But I thought it was fighting Wolfric. He's changed his mind completely, it seems. Well, if that's the case, this army's going to be done in a minute. We'll start raiding some of these cities over here. I don't think we'll be able to take anything. But I'll definitely start raiding stuff. Right, the borders are back. I don't know why they weren't there. That was very strange. Oh, I can actually see what's going on now. Right, let's keep getting growth up. Keep working on that growth. We're building up rather than out at the moment. The Vesta has an upgrade. Let me get a garrison. Not a bad idea, actually. Get a garrison at Zvesta. Cause Wolfic to, if they did it, if he did attack, at least I'd have a chance. What a garrison does is it allows you to build half an army rather than having to build a full one. What does this give us? Stay faithful. Recruitment ranks. Assign. Wait, what's this so far? Ooh. 10% money in, inside Kislev. Why are we not doing that? Yeah, I have no idea why I don't have him in Kislev. That was so dumb. Well, guys, I'm going to really need some help with this campaign. If you guys have an idea on how to expand, let me know. Because this is... This is a little bit different. It really is. A little bit trickier. Never had this bit of a problem before. Well, I have, but not this little many of cities. I can't see any other way but just to sit back, tech up a tiny little bit, get some better units, take a football armies, and then try and take on, like, a, a horde of units at once and try and, like, thin them down and then win that way. I can't... I don't really know what I can do here. It's a tricky one. It really is a tricky one. Right, well, she's ready, so we may as well start going on. If, if Wolfric are definitely not going to attack me, then I think we just move over to some of the easier Skaven ruins, like over here would be a good option. All right, looks like we're building up Prague as well now. Looking a bit more fearsome. Actually get some money there as well. One turn and our garrison will be even stronger there. Three turns on Sylvester. My rule, my Obviously, I'm on minus 25% movement. Um, so, like, it's 75% movement rather than 100. It's just so you can't just settlement hop. I don't want to be able to do that, by the way. I want to feel like I'm in a war, but I don't want to feel like it's hopeless either. 
You know, it's, it's, it's finding the balance, really. And this is one of the toughest things I've ever had to do in a Total War game, actually. Because... The mental side of it now is figuring out what is the best option when you're surrounded on all sides by enemies. An aggression pack with him would not be a bad idea. And trade. Which basically means now we get more money. Which is always good. More money is always good. Did he have another enemy somewhere that I don't know about? Put out from ice law spells or recruitment cross for snow. I'm never going to use snow leopards. Right. Ice queen. Let's go in on foot. Fort Oscar. Oh, there's a rogue army spawning already. No. Yeah, so just keep working on upgrading our stuff, getting everything going. Sylvester, even with even with a Kossar army unit, will help a lot with one of my perks on. Yeah, look at that army now. Sylvester's actually got a decent army inside it, which is a bit a bit much better. Actually can defend itself a little bit more. So if an army just appears out of nowhere, recruit general. At least he's got an army. It's a little bit easier than what it was. Born to rule. Right, I'm just going to keep going for this. They may take it. I'm assuming the owned this is owned by the Skaven. Because we're only at war with the Skaven still. We, we got lucky, by the way. I'm telling you right now. We got so lucky. Something must have preoccupied yes. Wolfric. Ah... Uh... Azizel. Ah, uh, something did preoccupy Wolfric. Oh, wait, am I looking at the right one? World Walker. He's at war with him and him. Yeah, Nordland as well. So he actually has occupies to do now. So that's why he's not attacking me. Because anti-player bias is off, by the way. I turned it off for this wrong reason because, like, it's so boring just being teamed up on like, about four people. And. Yeah, so that's what's happened here. So we've we've managed to get to Fort Os Ostrop without any problems. You might think that you know putting the the um, the movement down was done, but I just think it adds to the the tension a little bit. Yeah, Fraud is definitely weak. I killed a lot of his armies. It's not surprising. None shall question. But yeah, let's start actually. Let's start expanding. Finally, we actually have an option. Oh my fucking god! What the fuck? Oh, right. Um, what? What are these garrisons? Uh, okay. Uh, that's pretty defended. That's where Frot is. Okay, right. Run away. Well, well, at least we know where Frot is. Pull back a little bit. Um, we definitely don't want to fight that. How's our growth? Three turns till we can upgrade to the next tier. The beastman army around now. That could that could complicate things. We to vote, time to upgrade you. Yeah, I don't I definitely don't beat that frog army. If frog comes out and fights me like a man, we might have a chance. But will he? We definitely can't take help here, I know that. How has this rogue army expanded so much, by the way? That's crazy. So Fort Jacobot it Fort Ostrogot is owned by Skaven. Right, looks like the looks like the beast don't care too much. I'm going to I'm gonna just do a Oh, one on Frot right now, okay? Onward. I'm going to force fall. march over to Volksgrad. I'm going to give him an ultimatum to come over, basically. My Intergrove should definitely be starting to be upgraded because that is a very safe region, that one. That's right at the back, so that is a pretty safe one over there. Oh, uh, the bloody... The tension right now is so... It's building too much. Can Orthodoxy it's turn it around, maybe? Nice. Be strength 67 has probably changed Wolfric's mind as well. Possible. Right, I think Throt's chasing me. Yeah, okay. What we need to do is ambush him. Oh, no. Never mind. Guess I'm going to hold over there instead. 
which means Volksgrad will be undefended, and that'll be a nice city to take, finally. Right. You gotta love the rogue army. It's nice that the borders are back, though, you know, and it's nice to be able to see the borders okay. again. Okay, let's just go. Honestly, I'm gonna go straight away. Not in Force March. In Normal March. To my border edge here. Our army is looking a lot more better. My rule is, is there a regiment of renown that actually gives me artillery? God, I really need artillery. Oh, we could tear free Prague. Prague's actually becoming a pretty useful territory now. We'll give him Frock the chance to decide what way he's going to do this. So guys, I want to know your comments in the description here. Do you think very high military garrisons, if you upgrade them to how they should, if you could upgrade your the garrisons to insane level by getting like tier four and then having like tier four buildings would make your garrisons stronger. Do you think that's fair? Do you think garrisons must be tougher and harder to break through? Or do you feel like they should just be a bunch of peasants? Let me know in the comment section below because I've never really known which one to use really the great orthodoxy provides i've been using a lot of military garrisons lately though just i do think it makes you think though a bit more like well i don't win that so we'll do something else looks like they're abandoning in vault squad though which is going to be big i like that idea wolfric still not declared war on me so that is good as well I think we're in a good spot here now. I'm feeling a bit better about this campaign now. It's not feeling as doomed. Before, man, fuck you now. None shall question me. So, Etheric victory should be able to take this pretty easy, to be honest. We'll need to wait two turns on siege towers. Why is it two? Seems a bit they long, that. Me. They invite death. Is there not an option to fix that? Because obviously with my over siege mod, it was it was Victory ridiculous. Like I went to make a, a city a, a siege tower in like like ten of them in three turns. Unleashed it might be just because it's like um, not been sieged yet. Strike them down. They will take attrition though. Like if I if I show you, they're pretty mean. We don't lose anything though. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, what are the walls like? Now we're definitely going to need siege towers. Definitely going to need siege towers. Does seem mad waiting three turns for a siege tower. Wait, hang on a minute. A better idea. Ram only takes one. Yeah, do it like that. There you go. At least we want to get through the gate with a ram then. I'm still trying to go off how it was in medieval. We have to build siege equipment. And try and um, reduce bot ladders as best as I can. It's annoying that they exist. I don't know why they just don't put ladders in the game where you could just build them. Like, you know, like, and then carry them. They do it with siege towers. Why can't they do it with ladders? Just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what CA were thinking. Right, our money is looking a lot better, isn't it? And we have a decent army as well. They invite death. Two turns to Prague is even better, bigger and better than ever. And then we'll get Sylvester to tier three. Means that literally this will be... Look at this now. It's not doom and gloom anymore. Right, Vita though. Which one's Vita though? Vita is in danger of being attacked maybe. I'd say. Asgrigoth is fine. But Vita though could do with the garrison. Like, no one's ever getting to there unless they take out Kislev. That's what I feel, think anyway. So, just do all those nice upgrades. And as for this... Injured them a little bit. you got to understand here, right, guys? Replenishment is so bad now. Minus 50% really does make you think. So I'm having to sit out here and build these towers. Because if I don't build them, I don't have any protection going into it. So... Yeah. 
I don't know where where um where Frot is. He could be anywhere. We have no idea. Is he going for my capital? I think Frot's going for my capital. How? What was this army? Right, recruit army. I switch. What do you think? I switch. What would this give? We do need some spells. I switch. Sister of ice. And then grab ourselves some Strelsey for defense. You know. Mistress of the blizzard. His love does have a very good garrison. Lots of witches. Lots of magic. No. Do do. Right, well, let's take our Vault Squad. Still Ferric. Still Ferric. Two more turns on another, another siege tower. I can't see this. What layer of siege is this? Unleash Kislev's wrath. Tier 3 siege. I mean, yeah, they, I, could, I suppose they it could have the shit. Duty. Did we get any regiment? Yeah, fucking do it. You get one more? All right, uh, delete one more Strelsey. Yeah. Join me. We have to do this because we're going to get attacked. I don't know what Frost's going to do, so I'm, I'm just trying to keep up. Let's take the risk and go now because we do have the ram and they don't have any artillery. Let's just go now. I think we, I think we could do a hasty assault here. Let's do it. First battle of the day as well. Well, looking by here, I think this might be our best way of getting in because there's only this bit here where the towers can hit us. We could set the ram here with the with the towers. Yeah, I'd push go here. I'd go here. I'd definitely attack here. So I've decided I've already made my mark on where I'm going. I'm going here. It's the safest option. There's only two towers to deal with here. The ram should be able to get in. Zargard. Here we go. Stick the ram down. Ram's actually useful again, by the way, because it takes too long to get in with infantry now, by the way. I, unless you have monsters, rams are really useful. And with Kislev, where there isn't much rams, where there isn't much monsters and infantry, it's actually very decent. So we'll go quite narrow. Yeah, it's quite narrow as we can. And then let's just get in with those siege towers. It's just all about... We always have to just get in in quick. I'd actually send the knight in first. Very powerful knight. Start the battle. Pause a second. So we can get everything in order. Yes. Right. Get the, the ram. Kingdom. These others are but insects to Kislev. We'll stop Kislev Let's get inside with the rams. Start moving the Cossars forward so they can actually start attacking. Same with the Strelsi. Get them in position to shoot as well. We're very fun at the same time. We are going to take a bit of casualties getting inside. Looks like they expected me to go on other spots because they've actually split up a bit. But yeah, this should be a good siege. Let's go. They're going to try and hit my ram. Ram's moving in position as well. Yeah, these towers are not really going to do much to us. Oh, they're spawning rats. Hold on. Shoot them, Strelsey. You got this. They love spawning rats, I've noticed. Bloody hell, Kossars are tanky motherfuckers. I mean, it is only bloody... It is just a bunch of gutter runners that are, are attacking me here, though, to be fair. Honestly, the Kossars might be in range now. Halt! Fire at will. Zargard are about to to board. Why was one of my rams? Why my rams stop? Oi, get back on the bloody thing. Well, it looks like they've had enough being on here. Right, Zargard are on the top. On the top deck we go. Comrades of the 
But the ice guard to shoot now. Right, we're capturing the towers. That's good. Right, just get that ram moving. I don't know what happened there, why they stopped, but yeah. I want to send my spearmen in because they're, they're, they can literally be replaced. Right, Zargard versus Night Runners and, and, and Storm Vermin. That could be a bit trickier. Right, go on. Teleport off the wall. Great siege system. One thing you're going to get me raging at in, uh, in my Total War videos is the constant siege being shit. What well, I mean, I mean, it's just not making any sense. Ram? Have they just opened the gates? They've literally just opened the gates. They've literally just opened the gates. How much have we lost anyway? Barely anything. Lovely. I don't know how many menace below you got left, but let's get Kossars on the roof. How are my ice guard doing anyway? Because they're actually shooting. I do wonder how many times they can fire a clan rat. I mean, I know it's 15. Just. <laughs> Come on, push, push, push. All right, now the ice guard are talking. Some good hits now. More rats spawning. How about they charged out? I've never seen them do this before. Oh, this is perfect then. Catron. Use on Storm Berman. Sargar. Obey the orthodoxy. There we go. Use the ice. Use the ice. Obey the Storm Berman is starting to run away. Where's my knight? Why is my knight not going in combat right now? Right, well, we didn't need a ram in the end. Charge in, Spears. Clan rats with shields. What are these spares doing? Ah, they're coming to help. Good. Right, where's my knight? Because he's a single entity unit. He should be able to get in dead easily. Charge! Oh, wait, the gatehouse is shut, but I own it. So I'm assuming I just go in. I'm assuming I just go in. Oh, the rain and die, fire and death down upon the enemy. The Zargard don't give a crap, it seems. There's a bunch of rats. Right, let's do all this. Spell. Wait, don't get hit in the back. My knight is going to take on the entire Skaven army by himself. Can we get inside now instead of just sitting outside being twiddling our thumbs? Get Strelsi on the wall. I mean, that's like the perfect place for them, isn't it? There's a lot of rats to take out here. Zargod has 100 kills. 
The Golden Knight is now in combat with the entire army. Just how I predicted it. <laughs> oh, you've got to love their magic, though. Is one of my spears just running off on their own? Come on, we own the gate. Just get inside. Sixteen kills now for the Costa. How's the knight doing? Forty-seven. Well, I think these spears might be dead, but I don't really care because I'm replacing them with better shit anyway. Of this Bye. Come on, ice guard. Open down. fire. Same with the Strelsey. Put the Strelsey here. Man, I want to see some firepower. I know how we can break this clump. I've got the perfect spell. Say fire. Who kills the night? Don't know. Eighty-one. I'm ready to find that leader. Where's my knight actually? Where's that leader? Because he's the one that keeps using that annoying spell. Where is he? Ice Guard must be racking up the kills now. Oh, there we go. Strelsey on the wall. That's what I wanted to see. Finally breaking through the first line of defense. Capture's going to go on her, on her own. Finally, with the Strelsey fire, it's beautiful. They die. We slow down these these death runners. Yes. Where's my knight? Charge as well. So be it. Break them down. Oh, these are storm vermin, right? Right, Strelsey, Corsair's turn direction. Ice Guard, you are out of ammo. Just charge in then. You may as well charge in. If my army will listen, of course. Have I got a bit deep here? I don't know, but I'm just going to send my knight over as well. Can't have much left. Of course, remember that they won't move because they're yeah in that form. Strelsey, charge! Move into the city. Wait, there's a leader. Open fire. All that's left is night runners, some plague monks, and that's about it, really. The rest should be pretty straightforward. Strutsy! Mazar guard, like I said, 
do not give shits. They do not give shits. Who says you could kite me? I will slow you down and use magic. Lovely stuff. I saw a guard's been beaten a bit. 141 of them left. Do have over 240 kills though, so. Yeah, kids having sieges are not the greatest, are they? They really are an open field battle sort of um, race. Right, the leader's finally retreating. Being tapped by about 100 slingers again. Keep charging. Okay, the capture's in a bad spot actually. You can't you can't move right now. So do a little bit of help. Look at that, how many fucking rats are the left? Still quite a lot of rats to kill, it seems. On the march. Where'd my knight go? Knight. Oh, he's there. Oh, All right, there's a big tower there, so be careful about that. Right, some backups coming. Okay, I, I thought it was over. Turns out it wasn't. Those are fucking night runners. Come on, Strauty. What are we doing? Only Skaven can be this annoying. For the orthodoxy. Follow the bird. Only Skaven could be this annoying. Land is power. Guess we have to go for the full base. Keep blasting them down. Corsars are in a bad spot. My Strelsi don't fire. My Zargard have taken one a bit of a beating. Oh, these guys haven't even entered the city yet. <laughs> Get inside. Ouch. I just got must be at 300 kills now. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, well, this is, took one hell of a beating from this sort of garrison. Bloody hell, that was hard work, but we did it. What a battle. Actually, good defense from the AI there. That was very annoying. But we did get it over line. I mean, the problem is, though, we got a close victory instead of a Ferex. I mean, we improved. We improved the scenario. We will take it as it's Vault Scrad, but I'm going to loot and occupy it to get rid of all source of fucking Skaven. Take only what we need. Sarina Catherine of his. Oh, look at that. Cavalry. Oh, wing lancers. That is something we need. Wing lancers. Right, so yeah, we built some red renown. Switch. There's going to be a siege here, that's for sure. Yeah. Definitely going to be a siege. Is that some control a bit ago? Or do we want to just get more money? Could get, we could get some growth. That gives us growth. And that'll give us money and casual replacement rates. Most wise. Yeah, mainly Strelsey so we can defend the walls. Smart, clever for that. I definitely would hold the walls. I know he's probably got some catapults or something, but I'd definitely try and hold the walls. Yeah, so we didn't take that bigger casualties, which means we could head over to Plex now. Take the next city out. What else he got? Wait, are we heading into Chaos Dwarf territory here? None shall question yeah, they own Yenovich, which is really annoying. That's one thing we can't do right now, just start a war with random people, because that would be dumb. All right, let's end the turn. What's Frot's plan? Is he actually going to attack his lev? He might. No, no. Too, too, too defended. He realized. Mm, on second thought, maybe not. Uh, that's, that's a bit, that's a bit defended. The old world owes us thanks. Yeah, Zavesta's pretty uh, garrisoned up as well now, which is good. Nice garrison there. Um, Igrigo is the safe city. Vitigo could be attacked. That's why I'm adding a garrison there as well. I speak for peace. Right, well, this army actually uh, defended pretty well. Does it need to attack anything? I guess we just get a Kossar. The more Kossars in this army. Yeah. Our second army is just going to be a Kossar sort of army with, with uh, Strelsi. Oh, those are guard have leveled up from that attack. Do we wait one turn? I mean, this this is doomed. I have no patience for weakness. Oh, perfect. We can still get Kossars from here, so that's good. That just gets our army back up and running quickly, and then we can go straight for Plex and retake that position as well. Progress is being made, even if it is slow and painful. Definitely cost us. Oh, more money. You know, for renowned fair, so it's more money. Oh, wow. Absolute. Holy shit. That was big. Right, end the turn. I don't know what Frot's plan is. I have absolutely no idea. Ah, he's got some armies. You've got to remember, you've got to understand, right? I won some incredible battles last episode. He went full out on Prague, lost all his armies. He should be weak now. He should still have a bit of an army, but I don't expect him to have like four stacks anymore. Right. Leadership. Diplomatic relations with Empire. Leadership. Okay. He's going to try and defend Plex. I actually don't know how defended this could be. 
No food meat. Their place. I mean, it's still a pretty weak garrison. Those are just Kossars. You know, you could still go for it if you wanted to. Oh, we can, we can, we can scout. For the people. I'll get my knight to scout. The golden knight. Follow your. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Yes. Try to keep up, soldiers. Okay, so there is an army there. No. no. I revealed the ruins, but I didn't reveal the army. Yes. How it goes sometimes, I guess. Definitely get a garrison. I've already got one. What else can we... Oh, we got to get more money. Prague's turning into a money builder. Sister of ice. We're actually becoming a little bit more richer. <laughs> it's, it's actually quite decent. Nice try. I know your plan. In Katarin's name. Oh, it's a great way of leveling this guy up. Nariz Kalesa stands ready. Hmm. I am the queen's Maybe we should go with armor more. I don't know. I just want to make this knight a beast. Get him on a mount and just be an absolute pain in the ass. Right. Um, Chasing fraught. If we're going to do that, we go to our city. He could ambush me though. I know that that's a good idea. Witch of the ice. A noble calling. Fools may not serve. What else can we build? Is our guard too expensive on upkeep? I guess we just leave it like this. Just be a defensive army now in case like he goes to Vitigo or something. Which which is actually quite defended as well now to be fair it's for jack for that's the danger of being attacked now i don't know if we're going to just play this game where he just keeps running around but it feels like that's what he's doing what i'm going to do now is go straight for novelty because he tried he's trying to go this way so i'll go this way instead this is a much safer option also means our garrison is slowly healing which is nice Prague is getting a lot better. Ah, more money. The bluest. I mean, he's ready to be right now. He's getting food for this. So, I mean, he's, dude, he's, 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 he's really fucking my, yeah, order up, should I say. Oh, my God. Is that Reichland? Reichland just full on took out the fucking... Witch Ward, that's hilarious. Mate, that's a big win for me. Reichland will never attack me, so I'll that's big. Get, getting a little bit saved here, it seems. The orthodoxy looks like they're starting to pull ahead again. That's good. As much as the orthodoxy is kind of my rival, in in politician terms, not in, not in other terms. <laughs> I'm so glad Reichland's won. Like, that, that's bit, no, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too... I spoke... I spoke too soon. <laughs> Them two must be like brawling it out. Right, time to take some more land. They will fall. Hang on, we don't have our knight. Your champion. Train hard, fight hard. Unleash Kisle. And we get a close low, which is so perfect. The shield of the old world. Oh my god. Never mind, we probably should have fought that. Ow, she dees. Hmm. Money is important, but I would rather not. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to have to wait a while for this army to heal up. Yeah, this is why you don't auto-resolve, ever. The However, I will say this. It does mean we can get more units now. 
by taking that city. Which is important. I actually would add some Zargard. Put one of each. We're actually being able to afford two armies now. This is good. It's no longer just the one. Holy shit, Zavesta got an upgrade. I, I, am I seeing this right now? Cossars and bloody sleds and stuff. That's crazy. Lovely upgrade. And we turn still full. Six. This is why, guys. You don't just force into cities when you try and play in modes like this. This affects the AI as well, by the way. It's not just me. The AI get affected by this as well. With this, we stand against chaos. But can we get more replenishment? No, we're up, we're up today on that. What's this give us? The Ice Mistress. Well, we're going to get both. And then we'll be able to start building our With this, magic up. Kislev. I can't believe how much damage the knight took. Witch of the ice. Or Resolve is so Witch weird. Of ice. It's so weird, Auto Resolve. Vigor loss. Vigor drill. Melee defense. This guy's got to be insane of a night. The Zavesta may as well get. What are we missing in this region? Cavalry building. It would mean that we could get cavalry over here. Full military production line going on here. And now we'll have to wait a couple more turns, it seems. But I'm actually going to conclude this episode, guys, because we've done a lot. We've actually expanded to here. We had a huge battle at Voltsgrad. I know it wasn't like... The, we had to spend most of the episode curled up trying to figure out what to do first. Remember, you forget the start, but we're in a better position now. Hopefully, we'll be able to expand further next episode and try and take out Frot. We need to take out Frot. I think Frot needs to die. We can take out Frot. We can actually expand have like a proper base of operations to really start teching and getting the best kids of that army out we can but thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy if you know if you like creating make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now